How's it going fellow learners? It's a beautiful day out here at 4 p.m. in northern Massachusetts. I just finished downloading the Leaf Snap app on my iPhone 6. Now let's go out and see if you can help us figure out what some of these plants and trees are called. After you. Before we get to snapping however, a couple things to go over. So the Leaf Snap app uses image recognition technology, which is really just a fancy word for saying that it takes a captured image with a smartphone and tries to reference it to the many, many images that are collected in its electronic field guide. But anyway, I'm done talking. Let's try this out. So in the end, I picked three leaves that had a lot of differences between them. And one thing that disappointed me really about the app is that I couldn't really use it just on the leaves as was. I really had to pick them. The app really wants you to actually take a leaf and put it on a white piece of paper and try it that way. That's how it's meant to work. It's not meant to be used with a natural background. It really wants something stagnant that it can really get an idea of what the shape of the leaf is. It doesn't want to have any interference in the background. I feel like if you wanted to use this and you had a big group of people and everyone wanted to sample the same trees, that would be a lot of leaves taking off a tree. If you have a classroom with kids who end up sampling a lot of the same trees, you could end up with a very similar problem throughout a day. I don't think the Leaf Snap app is unbelievable for someone who's going out hiking or is kind of an aficionado when it comes to plant identification and really wants to use something that'll give them an idea of what it is and pinpoint it more thoroughly. It kind of gives you a general idea just on the visual image recognition technology that it has, but it doesn't really pinpoint anything. It just doesn't have enough information. One thing that I really like about what the app offers specifically for the classroom setting anyways, is that once you get a positive match, once you get a few options for possible identifications, you can then scroll through and look at what a full branch looks like, look at what fruit might look like that comes from that plant or tree, what some of the flowers it might produce look like, and you can kind of compare to the existing tree or plant as it exists in the real world. And students can come up with some ideas about whether or not they think it might be a match, what they think looks different, what they think is similar between them, if they think they're related at all, or maybe they're distantly related or closely related species. So I think that's all good stuff for kids to kind of think over. If you want the kids to have a real true identification type experience, then what I would suggest doing is making some laminates with some leaves that you collect from species that you're familiar with, ones that you know. And make some laminates for the students to handle in the class. Do your homework and find some leaves that it'll actually more pinpoint and identify clearly. So then the kids can snap away and actually identify some plants. I don't see anything wrong with bringing a laminate of a leaf, bringing a couple other artifacts from the actual tree or plant itself, and laying them out for students to kind of think about. But overall, I think some of the other pros of this app is that it's really easy to use. It works really quickly. You can easily delete it if you don't want to have it past the actual classroom activity or past your trip or whatever you're using it for. It's image recognition only, so you don't have to input a lot of extra information. You just snap it, snap it, snap it, and it comes up with answers for you. And another thing to note is that the database for the current leaf snap is northeastern species only. So if you're in another part of the country, like we just happen to be in Massachusetts, so I lucked out. But if you're in another part of the country, you're probably not going to get the results that you need. Which could definitely be frustrating, especially if you're in a classroom in California and it's not coming up with any species in your area. The last thing I'll note is something that I found just by trying things, is that you can actually use this app on an internet image of a leaf. Which I kind of found helpful, especially if you're going for some common species. Like the one I wanted to try today, that probably would have worked if we weren't in the beginning of spring, and thus we only have buds and not very many leaves on our trees at this point, was the sugar maple. I was able to find an image online of a sugar maple leaf, I was able to snap it, and it searched through the database and actually came up with an identification of a sugar maple as the top choice. Again, you don't necessarily have to go out and take students to see trees and see plants, you can kind of bring it into the classroom in a few ways. 